Howdy y'all, this is Regulus Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in the Searing Savannah, where last time we were continuing our work of trying to make sure that we are surviving and we are not doing a very good job. Um, we are currently at zero food for all 22 of our creatures, and Ursa over here is pregnant on one of her last couple of days that we have with her. Um, which also means that we should be getting close to Nicholas and Nichols last couple of days as well. So, we're, we're getting to the end of lifespans and we are running out of food very quickly. So, um, let's go ahead and jump in here and get started. We do have some children to take care of. I do think we need to start doing, um, the Alpha, Beta, Omega system and I need to make sure that Moon's purr is on her. It is not currently and I need to purr for everyone we can. Actually, Moon is still going to have a lower lifespan just because um, Ursa is only going to build a purr for her just a little bit more and then she's passing away unless her child gets the purr snout, which is highly unlikely. So, I think her baby was with sound too, right? So, we'll have to see. Anyway, um, also we have, thankfully, all of the termite mounts and the Berhina saved us last turn. So, hmm. We're slowly trying to get this little baby, Junebug, that way for those things. And actually, I'm gonna let Nicholas gather just once from here. Okay. And then go this way. Um, is Scorpion the only one who's able to? Okay. Get those off of her. Thankfully, this one is in the green, so we don't have to worry so much about that. I am gonna have... These two are fully grown, thankfully. And actually, I'm gonna send Cyber to be with his brother. Um, I have so many creatures that need healing. Okay. So let's see. Let's make a little ring of them. Khan can go that direction, and then we'll move I'm gonna move Ursa to the nest, because they can move for her. Move Cyber to here. Luna needs it, but Moon needs it just a little bit more. Okay, let her purr for everyone, and then go send them for their jobs. Cyber is going to come over here and help his brother out with clearing towards this tree, because that's what Finn has us headed for. And then... Is that a... Oh, it's a tree branch. Okay. Um, thankfully, little baby radish is okay. Rutabaga start digging. She got to see her mom do that at least once, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Luna... I would like to put you under a tree. But the need for food is just a little bit stronger. So let's see. Let's see if we can't find something, because we are going to start dying very quickly if we don't find anything soon. Especially with the baby on the way. Finn is fine. I don't want to have 
have to have you take more damage. There's a nest. Okay. Luna, we're gonna have you backtrack just a little bit because I need more food. And that berry bush is very nice looking. And actually, I'm gonna have to have Cora come back this way and grab from that one. Ursa doesn't have enough days. <laughs> um, twins, let's have Lady Bird come grab this one. There is one back there, but I'd rather have y'all come forward. So that means this way. Okay. Let's take a look. Um, children automatically get first pick to um, let's see, three, four, five, so five youngsters, right? Eclipse is going to be in my top. Um, let's see. So, let's see. Nicole, Reyna. Let's have Moon take in the top. Let's see. And then both sets of twins. And that should be good. That that makes sure that those guys at least get priority. Okay. Greta, right you buddy. I'm so sorry. Maybe you'll find us some food further in there. Okay. Next day. Oh, I hate saying that. Okay. <sighs> I knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. I just hoped it wouldn't be now. Moon passed away due to all her injuries. I wish it wouldn't, but it did. Okay. Um, adorable little baby boy, though. Oh wow. He is gonna be just as fast, almost, almost just as fast as his brother. The runner's leg is always gonna be dominant over the Baryena claw, unfortunately. And I have her with Finn again. I thought she was supposed to be with sound. Um, I actually have an idea of what I want to name him. His strength doesn't really fit it, but his pattern does, and I just love it. He's going to be one of our strongest, according to how things are here. Um, he does have the big ears recessive. We'll have to pr pull the poor snout out of some of these guys as time goes on, um, just because we are taking on a lot of damage. That mask pattern, though, is where I'm pulling this name from, and I just, this is, this is too perfect. So this is going to be Badger. Welcome to the tribe, little one. Reminds me of, um, honey badgers and, like, wolverines and stuff like that, so I think it fits perfectly. He is very cute. So she never had a baby with sound. Or was she? Supposed to. No, not sound. Who's blue? Nickel. She was supposed to have a baby with Nickel. Well, that would have to be now. Because he's only got a little bit of time left. Mm. We'll have to see if we can even hold another baby. Alright, little one. She 
collected all of the bugs from there, so that's fine. Um, let's see. It's weird that we got the platypus beak. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Um. That might be why I decided not to have a baby with Nickel, because he's had so many, and Finn has only had s that many. Just, I would love to have more of Ursa's genes continue on. But, they're not necessary. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not necessary to have babies. Oh, goodness. Okay, um... How much strength do we have to have to take down the... those? This one says three. So it's three. Let's find out. We can have two. Okay, so it can be a two. That's good to know. Um... an idea of what to do with Ursa, but I think it might kill her and I don't want to do it. Idea was if we have them destroy the cactuses, what happens? Do they collect the food from it as well? Or do they just collect from it? We're getting there, just slowly. Okay, thankfully though, these two have finally gotten second gems, so let's start searching. Where are my roots? There's one over here. Only one over here. So let's have Rutabaga. How did she get damaged? I think she got attacked? I don't remember. I don't remember. Or she starved. She might have been one of my ones that starved. I'm kind of glad now I increased their lifespans. Um, <laughs> I only did it by a little bit, but from our previous generations, I, I did increase their lives by the smallest amount. Nickel. to find another termite mound. Because I think, unfortunately, Eclipse is going to have to give up hers. We had a decent amount of food over here. I might send some of them back to come and collect from all these berry bushes we found before. Because there's not enough over here to sustain us. Unfortunately. Ooh, a root. Another termite mound. Oh, we're all stuck. Okay. Razor? I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, there's roots back here. Son of a gun. There. This is gonna be Nickel's last day, so let's hit him try to dig that root up and stay close to his his mate. And then Ladybird to grab that berry and head over towards her twin. That is everyone again. So we're about to see the passing of Ursa and Nickel. Nicholas has a little bit more time. Sound has more time. Let's see. I think no. Uh, Finn, F4 
before I see Finn pass away. Okay, this is gonna hurt so much. And we're gonna take damage on two counts, so maybe. Oh gosh. I hate the way that makes me feel, but we were saved from starving because we had three creatures pass away. That feels terrible, and I don't like it. I don't like the way that makes me feel. Oh. Okay. Thankfully, though, rain means we're doing better. So, let's go ahead and have Cora come and sit with the little baby badger. So that we can... Ooh. Go ahead and grab up all the food. Um... Eclipse, come back and grab that for me. It also means the cactuses are all ready. Dang it. And she can grab four pieces of food from one root. That is the reason why I wanted to do digging. For some of our creatures. Radish, you are doing terribly. Um, let's see... Oh, she grabbed them all. Oops. Okay. Um. Yes. Went ahead and clear this area. We are doing very well with the um, things that we have so far. And we are at our food amount that we need to survive. So, you know what? That's a win. Okay. All those bugs have been collected. All of these bugs have been collected. There is a good amount of roots this direction, so... Rutabaga, you're gonna start heading this way. I did not think she would be able to. Um, let's have Arrow. I think I might just lump him in with this expedition group. Be especially because they're about to lose one. I didn't notice that. I forgot about that. So they're about to lose sound, Nicholas and um, Luna. No, Luna's still good. Okay, so sound, Nicholas. I'm so happy to see some of the hammer tail stayed. Okay. You little one. And that's everyone, again. No more babies. We're good. We thankfully have just enough food. I don't know, just Nicholas. I thought Sound was too. Sound is this turn, and so is Luna. Next turn. They still had... <sighs> Luna still had um, the healing on her from... from um, Ursa. I forgot about that. Alright. Let's have Rutabaga continue slowly making her way around. Alright. We just need to wait for that to finish up. And actually, I think having Radish join these guys for root duty would be beneficial. Yes, it would. I think we need the <laughs> the one 
one big nose with at least one of the those guys. So let's see, who needs to be part of the expedition team? Everyone. Everyone can be part of the expedition now. For the most part. I'm gonna hide in the brush. Okay, um, still under, still under. Who else can gather from something that isn't a cactus? Three away. Okay, was there a berry bush over here? No. Can't smell very well. Oh. Oh yeah, the fire. I forgot that did that. Yeah, let's have Arrow join these guys, I guess. Over here. Berries! Run for the berry bush! Yay! We saved ourselves for one more turn. Oh, goodness gracious. dire our situation seems just because we can't get enough food. Okay. I feel like we're rushing everywhere. Okay. Um, we found several termite mounds. Let's start sending them towards them. Yes, we found three. So let's see. That one, I think. Will be perfect. Ah, where you at? There. So that she can gather from that one after we cut it down. Yeah. Just because we're still waiting on that one. Alright. One more day. Ooh, okay. But Luna is now on her last day. That was him. Sound. We just have one more from our previous generation. But we had some of our youngest grow up. Oh, this is hard. Our diggers don't do well in the sun. Do you get more shade or less shade in the grass? We're gonna find out next time. That is all the time that we have for today. No fires, right? The fires were scary. And I know the fires can burn down the like the bushes and stuff too, right? Yeah. Dang. Okay. Glad we don't have those to deal with right now. Alright. Well, next time we'll have to continue with trying to survive. We're barely surviving, so I think our limit is gonna have to be 15. Unfortunately, we are just not... We're gonna have to figure something else out. We're gonna have to really figure something else out. Um, Rutabaga and um, Radish are definitely gonna have to start working on the heat resistance and the digging at the same time. So maybe Razor or someone who's really good with it into their genetics. Um, and then also Moon's children, especially Ladybug and Ladybird, are going to go towards um, Armor Body to help us with the cactus collecting because that is definitely going to be something that we need to focus on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like. Um, leave naming suggestions in the comment section down below. Um, they help out tremendously and I absolutely love giving our creatures the names that y'all suggest. And also, do please subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.